Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, how is everyone today? Um, just coming through. Pakistan have been set 337 by India. Wow, that's incredible. Um, <clears throat> sorry, let me just uh, get rid of that. And uh, just this is gonna. This will be a very quick vlog. Uh, I'm just maxed out today uh, with stuff for the channel. And things so uh, I just want to basically you can watch this back because it's going to be a short video so I'm not expecting loads of people to come on here because it's Father's Day and very happy Father's Day to everybody today if you are a father or you've got a father who's still alive or dead or whatever my dad my died a few years ago but uh, happy Father's Day to everybody out there this better be big news eh, sir stuff <laughs> big news it is big news Hi Andy, Chadder, how are you buddy? You alright? Uh, happy Father's Day my guy, happy Father's Day to you as well. Um, though I'm here on my own, uh, my uh, my lads left me a card and some presents this morning very early and then they went off to work and then my wife's uh, off today but she's gone to pick her father up from Manchester and he's coming down uh, to have dinner and things like that but... Uh, I've been full on uh, with Man City Fan TV stuff for the last two, three days, so I do apologise. Uh, there's just some things that I've, ha I've had to take priority. Um, happy Father's Day, bud, Cobby. Thank you very much, mate, and to you too. Hi, mate, Midnight Crisis. Ryan Corey, hey, Andy, how are you, mate? Are you, I hope you're well. Hi, fella, what's going on then? We'll t quickly talk about it. Like I said, this is going to be a short video, and I promise you, I know I always say this is going to be a short one. It is going to be very short. Uh, Makund, hi, Andy, how are you, mate? Sweaty Pizza 212. Yo, yo, how are you, mate? Brandon Wallace, how are you? Mark Bowes retracted his comment. Uh, I don't know what that was about, Mark, maybe a typo. And Don Bele, no, this is... Uh, the big announcement is not about signing, so if you want to leave now, you're more than welcome to just go, oh, I thought it was going to be a big announcement signing and I'm going to talk about a couple of things, uh, but very quickly, the big announcement is something that's outside of transfer news because as we know, it's all a bit boring. It's just like one thing after another and then, you know, it's, we don't know. We absolutely do not know what's going on. So we have all these rumours and we're just trying to bring you this news and things like that. So uh, it's... Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think when the signings will be done, you'll have a massive title that the signings have been done. And uh, the big announcement is not big news. It's not about transfers. It's not about anything else uh, to do with Man City per se in signings. So that's not what the big announcement is. Uh, but people have been asking me for the last few days, what's up, what, what's going on and what you're doing and things like that. So um, I'll, I'll give you... A little snippet of one of the things uh, there are loads of things but I'm, I can only now confirm officially today one of the things that's going on so uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll come to that very shortly I uh, just want to say hello to everyone uh, I'm, I've got about 10 minutes or so uh, and then I've got to go because I've got to go and do the thing that I've got to do End on belly? No, it's not end on belly. I've been so busy, Andy. Finally got three hour. Happy Father's Day, mate. Happy Father's to you, EF. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Um, hi, bud. Hi, Martin. Uh, afternoon, Andy, Mark, Bo. How are you, buddy? Uh, you okay? I'm very well. Very, very well. Midnight crisis. Very good. Big news we signed. <laughs> no, big news is Pep's gone to Juve. It's been officially announced. Um, Andy, mate, I'm finally free for, a hour, for an hour. Happy Father's Day. Brilliant, mate. I'm sorry. I wish I could give you an hour. I can't because of what I've got to do next. So I do apologise. I can't give you an hour today. It's nothing to do with Father's Day because I've got the house to myself until my wife brings her father back here from Cheetah Mill area. Uh, am I allowed to work until five? So um, I, can't, uh, I can't do anything um, for the next hour because I've got a big thing that's going on at four o'clock. So... Uh, uh, this is just going to be a very quick, quick update um, on what's going on. He's engaged. <laughs> engaged, God. Jesus Christ. I'm married. Or I've been married for a long time. Um, yeah, all right. I admit. Yeah. Uh, I'll go on. Jennifer Aniston. Uh, yeah, she finally sort of got in touch with me and said, you know, come on, Andy. We've been doing it for a long time. Let's get engaged. Joao Felix. No, I mean, I spoke about that yesterday. I mean, Joao Felix. Joao Felix. 
not dealing with all that type of nonsense. I'm not going to repeat exactly what I said yesterday about the fact that, you know, Felix could go on loan and blah, blah, blah. I'm not, I'm not going there. That's old news. Um, don't do that on Man City Fan TV. Um, Murich, Murich. Did it yesterday. Why would I do it today? That's old news. Uh, don't scare me like that, Andy. Pep to you, babe. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm only kidding. I did send that email, to that, that tweet to Roger Mitchell. Uh, a Monblano official, the one that I put out that whole video and saying, you know, we'll call you out on the 15th. And if you're not, you know, that shows you how, how much you're bullshitting. And never once had a reply from Roger Mitchell, not or from Monblano, nothing. So, yeah, um, go and give him some grief. You, you can follow him. Um, I can't show it you on my phone at the moment, but I'll post it below if you want to follow him and say, Hey, I thought you turned around and said that Pep would be signed on the 15th, according to Montblano official. Well, it hasn't happened. Don't see the urgency in these signings once again. But absolutely, Mark Bell, totally agree with you. Um, we'll be bored senseless with this just constant thing about it. It will happen. I said it in the video yesterday. When it happens, it will happen. And there's so many things in the background. Always happens at this time of year. You know, players go away and things like that. Um... Pep to Juventus, thought that happened yesterday, yeah, clearly didn't, mate. Uh, Blue Cal, how are you, mate? You all right? Uh, Rub it on, Blondie, hi all. Um, hope you've not got a headache after uh, yesterday's uh, beer fest. McCon, Pep's been to Juve and back, yeah, it looks like it. Sorry, leaving Chelsea, just announced on Sky. Yeah, saw that uh, a few minutes ago before I came online. Um, so that clearly... Uh, didn't say, is he leaving to Juve? Maybe Pep's going to Juve and uh, who knows, 15th of July. Uh, July, <laughs> yeah, it could be. Well, that, that'll probably be their next argument, is that we didn't mean June, we meant July. What's the big announcements coming soon, Iana Moran? Um, good afternoon, Andy and everyone. Good afternoon, Philip, how are you? Uh, home now, just set it up. I'll be with you in 25 minutes, no problem, Blue Cal. Uh, sorry, appointment of Juve manager. Yep, we'll see. Uh, maybe 15th of next month, yeah. They'll probably switch it and say we'd, it was a typo. We we meant July, not June. Just passing through. I'm in Manchester to see my family. Have a good one, mate. We'll watch it later. No problem, Rick Davis. I understand that. Uh, tell us, tell us. Uh, football fan chat. Don't worry, mate. I know that you're just obsessed with uh, getting gossip uh, and things like that and you want to pass that on to Ray and everything else. I understand because I see your whole thing with Ray and everything else and... Uh, yeah, like I said to you, mate, I'm, you know, I can't interact with you because you're underage. Uh, you're only, what, 13, 14, and it'd be uh, neglect of me to uh, interact with you in any way, shape or form other than the comments that you put below here. So, uh, mate, you carry on sort of you know, posting your stuff to Ray and everything else, and that's perfectly fine, but I can't get involved with you on this channel because you're, you're underage. Um, hi, Andy, uh, Ian from Kenya. Ian, welcome Back to the channel. Thank you very much. Come on then, what's happening? Andy will be here till 7 o'clock. I would be if I normally do, but I'm not going to be. We should go on a double date. Andy, your fiancé, Jennifer Aniston, and my fiancé, Cody <laughs> Hey, wouldn't that be good? I don't, my wife doesn't watch this. I'm sure she doesn't anyway. She's not interested in Man City fan TV whatsoever, if I'm being honest. The UA fans are balling now, right now. I'm sure they are. Uh, oh, on Wiki, it says Sarah's the manager of Juve. Well, Wiki, as we know, can be edited. Seems like somebody else in the whole stratosphere of Twitter didn't realise that uh, wiki can be edited, which seems a bit bizarre, but that I'm not going to go down that direction either. Uh, classic 13-year-old gossip. Yep, yeah, exactly, EF. That's why I'm not getting involved with it. I heard Jennifer Aniston and uh, was just on this side chick, Angelina, it's the other <laughs> Piss off. Um, actually, I like Angelina Jolly. My wife hates her. And that's because of the Jennifer Aniston thing with Brad Pitt. She always had the thing for Brad Pitt, but then when all that kicked off, it, I mean, that's a bit boring. But anyway, um, yeah, I quite like Angelina Jolly. Um, hi, Andy and everyone. Uh, Main Road used to be a scary place to go and set, uh, go to said from Leeds fans in the 90s. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, lots of things, lots of things like, you know, Main Road. I mean, I know what Main Road was like from my time at Main Road from the 70s. And uh, people have this thing about Main Road. And trust me, it was an absolute shithole. 
Uh, it was a shithole in the early days, trust me. Uh, but I had great times there. Absolutely loved it with my, my dad and my uncle and everything else. But uh, And then when I got my own sort of season ticket and paid on the door and jibbed in under, sort of, you, know, all, you know, all that type of stuff. It was great. But, I mean, people have this sort of you know, fantasy thing about Main Road and uh, it wasn't all it was cracked up to be, I'll be honest with you. Anyway, right, got to go. Uh, so... Quickly, so, uh, what was my, I uh, don't even know what my first thing was. Oh, big announcement. Okay, I'll do that first and then we can very quickly uh, talk about uh, some of the news. So, Man City Fan TV, as you know now, uh, I solely own Man City Fan TV. It's down to me. I run it how I want to run it uh, and I do the things that I want to do. I don't have to pass it by anybody else and have disapproval and things like that. I can... And I don't then have to say to other people also, no, I'm not doing that. There's no, no chance of doing that. Um, so anyway, I've had massive plans um, oh, in my mind over the last few months. That was going to be how we moved the channel forward and things like that. Uh, but as it transpired, as you guys know, if you follow the toxic element of social media and Twitter in particular, what happened over the last couple of weeks, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's moved on. Uh, and I'm not going to get into a tit-for-tat thing on, social, on Twitter in particular because it's, it is toxic. It's full of absolute bellends, if I'm honest with you. Um, but there are some very, very, very nice people on there and sensible people uh who can see through all the bullshit so right the first announcement for man city fan tv is we are going to be providing man city fan tv podcast raw now you might look at that and go what, what does that mean um now what that is is it's going to be a podcast that's going to be done and it's not decided yet when um it's going to be maybe weekly you know uh, every two weeks every month we don't know yet uh we've not decided but this will not be run by me i will have nothing to do with this it will still be man city fan tv but it's going to be running being run by a massive massive blue um somebody who has been home and away been everywhere you name it uh who has followed city since the 80s and uh knows everything about man city proper hardcore blue uh i'm talking about uh no it's not Ian Cheeseman. no mate it's not Ian Cheeseman. um but he's going to be looking after it uh that's his thing uh and he's going to be looking after these type of um talks and podcasts and things that i'll be doing a i'll be going on their channel or our channel uh i'll be doing that uh, later uh, shortly, very shortly, uh, just as a bit of an intro, the fact that they're going to be part of Man City Fan TV. The podcasts are going to be posted. We've not decided yet. It might be iTunes, Soundcast and, or Soundcast and everything else. We haven't decided that yet. But the first podcast is going to be done uh, tonight. Uh, and uh, it's going to be for Hardcore Blues, uh, trust me. Uh, now, I just want to give you a warning up front. And the warning is that... This is real. This is a real fan chat. This is not what I do on Man City Fan TV and when I speak to other people. These are proper hardcore blues. Proper, proper hardcore blues who've been following City for decades, who go home and away, Europe, you name it. And sometimes there may be a strong, strong language on there. So that's why it's called. it'll be called Man City Fan TV Podcast Raw. So don't be shouting at me don't be you know going oh he said that thing this and he said this that and you it is raw so there'll be a warning up front that this is like going down to a pub chatting with fans chatting with mates sat in the or stood in the uh, concourse area of the etihad um and blues chatting to blues and if you're a city fan who's a season card holder go to games you know the language and everything else and the, the topics and things you know that get discussed and that is what it's going to be like. So if you want to know what it's like to be a blue, if you want to know what it's like to be a Man City fan who followed the club through main road crappy eras and things like that, I will jump in at certain points. I will do. Uh, but this is not my project. This is somebody else's project. And uh, 
it's going to be under the Man City Fan TV banner. Uh, and I will jump in every now and then and things like that. Um, strong language, not for me. I'll stick with you. That's perfectly fine, Blue Heart. Somehow, I'm not quite sure about that. Um, and there's going to be loads of guests. There's going to be loads of like you know hardcore blues that are going to be on there talking about all sorts of real sort of like tough talking topics and things all that type of stuff uh we'll have guests in there if you're you know a hardcore fan who thinks that you you know you're up for coming on a podcast and you can battle it out and uh, do whatever and talk i mean like i said it, 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 it's it's just going to be about blues hardcore blues talking on there that doesn't mean to say that we won't get guests on the channel and things like that um so you can come on the channel you can do whatever you like. You can say whatever you like. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna be raw. It is gonna be raw. It's gonna be people just chatting. Doesn't mean to say that it's gonna be, you know, explosive as in, you know, revealing loads of crap and talking about other teams and things like that. But the language that might be used on that particular podcast is gonna be real, and that it is gonna be raw. So um, I'm really excited. Finally, after a few weeks of trying to sort this out, uh, that. Uh, There'll be loads of guests coming on. And if you want to get involved and think they're the type of people I want to interact with and, and you know, listen to it when it goes out and we'll we'll uh, we'll put it out there and announce it when it's done, uh, then all you have to do is, um, are you on it? I'll be on I'll be on the first one. I'll be sort of introducing myself and because there'll be people on the podcast stuff. I know there's been loads of people saying, can you not put this on iTunes, this live vlog, so I can run and i can do this and i can do the other i can listen to it rather than having to log in on youtube well you'll have the podcast and what i'm gonna do is those podcasts are going to be put under a playlist on the on the youtube channel so you'll be able to just if you don't want to watch the videos you don't want to watch me you don't like me you've unblocked you've blocked me from twitter and all the other garbage that's gone on um you can follow the um the man city fan tv podcast raw um on, on the playlist on the YouTube channel so you can click on it and you can follow it on on various different platforms so that's the massive announcement that's the f that is of number one of the project going forward like I said now I'm in total control um, I've got loads and loads of things coming up uh, very soon um, I, but I'm only going to release this one first now because there's lots of others that are coming in the pipeline very very soon and uh, like I said this will be Will post rub it over landing. Will you post? Of course, I will. I, I mean, I, we will let you know everything you need to know. Of course, I'm not going to just. We're not just going to put it out there. And raw sounds painful. It might be for some. Right? Cosmic. It might be for some. Absolutely. Uh, is it in this channel? Is it in this channel? Uh, it'll be. Uh, it, well, it'll be posted on things like iTunes and others. Uh, but what you'll find is when that's posted on all of those um, podcasts. Uh, like soundcast and everything else uh itunes etc i will put links on this channel and it'll i'll create a playlist underneath the the channel that will basically um tell you that these are the podcast playlists and if you want to listen to them. now like all of these really really good podcasts it uh they can be an hour two hours long three hours sometimes because when blues get chatting if you're a blue and you're down the pub or you're talking to your mates you know there are so many things to discuss. That's why it might not be every single week. It might be every two weeks. But we'll see, depending on the content that needs to be discussed, uh, that's upcoming. So it could be, a you know, it, it, it's Andy Goldstein. <laughs> Andy Goldstein, I promise you. He's a rag. Uh, signs right up my street, Andy. Absolutely good. Well, we've had loads of people asking for it. Now, of course, I'm not going to come in here and... F and Jeff and blah 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 on here because I don't know who's watching the channel and I've got to be very careful and there's people who post some stuff on here that I know they are I know their age I know that they're like 13 years of age and I don't I can't interact with them because I have a legal responsibility to not be interacting with those type of people so if other people want to work with a 13 year old or something like that and that's not decrying this kid I mean he does a brilliant job but I've, I've got legal responsibilities. I've got to be very, very careful of not being accused of anything. So, you know, I'm just interacting with people on here. Um, but the hardcore stuff, 
it's going to be done on the podcast. Um, so it will come with warnings. It will come with everything else. And if people want to get involved in it and thinking, hmm, yeah, maybe, then contact us at mcfcfantv at gmail.com. Uh, and, uh, yeah, maybe you can come on the podcast one time. But anyway, that's the news. I've got to go and record that um, introduction stuff and things like that um, very shortly. But um, the last bit of news, what was on there, it was about a new keeper. And uh, I just wanted to pull up some information here that uh, the rumours are, uh, the latest rumours are that uh, uh, ABAC goalkeeper uh, Asie Resego has reported, reportedly emerged as a surprise transfer target for City um, because of, obviously, uh, Bravo's injury. Um, Muric as we know, and it did it yesterday, I'm not doing it today, I did it yesterday, uh, was the, the, the possibility of him going to Forest. Uh, well, it looks like um, he's going to go on loan, like I said yesterday, to Forest. Um, according to uh, some outlets, it's resulted in City looking for somebody that would be quite happy to play second fiddle, uh, or third fiddle even. Uh, and this guy is 36 years of age, plays for Abar. Um, he's available on a free transfer. Um, so he's made 65 league appearances. So it wouldn't surprise me if <coughs> I was saying yesterday that we might get Edison Bravo and Daniel Grimshaw as a third option and Murich goes on loan, so does Stefan. It wouldn't surprise me if we bring somebody else in as just like a third choice um, goalkeeper and on a free uh, experienced and we send Grimshaw and we send Murich on loan and Bravo is number two to Edison so it'd be interesting we'll keep an eye on that so that's um, Asier Risego or Risco I'm, I'm, I must admit I don't know I've never even heard of him if I'm being honest so we'll see what happens with with that particular one so that's that's just come in this afternoon um, Grimshaw's good he's a good keeper uh, is Grimshaw trustworthy He's done well. Uh, this new stuff. Will this new stuff be on YouTube? Links, links to the podcast uh, will be on YouTube, mate. Uh, so we'll do a playlist. If you want to listen to it, clearly there'll be no video to it. It's not a video. It's a podcast. So there'll be something on the in a playlist that will say podcast. You know, Man City Fan TV podcast raw, uh, and you will be able to if you wanted to watch it as a video format. I'm sure. That'll be available, but mainly it's going to be posted on the likes of uh, all the other platforms for podcasts with iTunes and everything else. But we'll deal with that when it's done, uh, but just to let you know the news. Um, sound, Andy. Thank you, AF. Uh, what about the Rodri rumour? Well, um, looks like now the rumours are that um, Atletico Madrid are in for Bruno Fernandes. And this is so I'm sort of slightly skewing off the topic of... Rodri, but it makes an effect on what could happen next. So the plans are uh, allegedly that uh, Bruno Fernandes, Atletico Madrid are actually interested in Bruno Fernandes and they're going to make a £44.6 million pound bid uh, for the Portuguese international uh, this week coming. Uh, which means then that potentially Rodri could be then absolutely available. Now, we already said, and I said it on the video yesterday, that Rodri has already made it clear to Atletico Madrid that um, he wants to leave, basically, um, and that he wants a move, he wants a fresh challenge and things like that. So the fact that Atletico have now thrown their hat in the ring suggests that with the money that they are, they've already got, 100 and, was it 105 million euro they've already got for the sale of those two players uh, that they've already sold, um, the fact is in midfield they could have a little bit of a switch around and think, okay, well, if we go for Bruno Fernandes at £44.6 million, uh, then we can sell Rodri at £60, £70 million. We get money in the bank on top of everything else. We might be able to throw money at Griezmann and keep him here for another year or two or put him on an extended contract because there's still the whole Griezmann thing to resolve. Now, Atletico will ha have got money. They have got money. But if Rodri is actually turning around and saying, I really want to leave, then they're going to have to look at a replacement. Uh, now, it might not be like for like, but they've got other players in midfield that can 
secure the Rodri role. And if they brought in Bruno Fernandes, then they've got an additional midfielder. So um, I think that's actually interesting news because what that could do then is turn around and say, OK, if it's true that Atletico are going for Bruno Fernandes, then what that says is basically, OK, we've, we now know that Rodri is definitely going to go. Who he goes to, we don't know yet. He's, Rodri's never said City, nor of his agent. But I think we're favourites in for, for Rodri, I really do. So I think it's really exciting now that, that Atletico are being linked with um, with Bruno Fernandes because there were rumours that he was going to United or United were interested in and him and things. And we said, a t you know, said two weeks ago that City... I've turned around and said we've, we've never had any proper interest in Fernandez. So um, hopefully it's like anything. And that's why sometimes it's a little bit slow is that, you know, we wait for one thing to happen before something else can happen. And then we have to wait for that before we can sign that. It's not just a simple fact of going and grabbing a player unless you're throwing hundreds of millions of pounds at somebody uh, that they can't turn it down. That It means, well, they're saying, well... We'll, you know, if you hit the 70 million, we'll do it as long as we can get a replacement in first. And if we can do that, you can have Rodri. They, that type of scenario, I'm not saying that's what's happened, but that type of scenario. So sometimes it does take a little bit of time and these players are overseas on holiday and things like that. So I think the fact that this rumour has come out that the Atletico are now interested in uh, Bruno Fernandes seems to potentially, if the rumours are true, suggest that they're willing to now finally let Rodri go, uh, go to whoever. It could be us, it could be somebody else. But I think it's good news. I think that's positive news because uh, I think Rodri's coming. Are we in for Dan Dombelli? We've had no confirmed rumours about Endombelli whatsoever. It's all been sort of speculation and things. Like I said, Endombelli was my first choice, but I'd be more than happy if we got Rodri. And I think that is the one position out of anybody that we must sign. We must sign a central defensive midfielder to replace or work alongside Fernandinho next season. So... Uh, uh, Jao Felix City, 106 million loan back. Yeah, that was old news. Did I think spoke a bit about that uh, last night. Uh, maybe on Twitter or something like that. But yeah, the rumours are that coming out today that uh, City might make the jump and turn around and say, right, OK. Which it, I don't, I don't think, I personally don't think it's a great idea loaning him back. Because you loan him back, what if he gets a massive injury and things like that? It's out of your hands. You know, you've loaned him back to there. You paid 106 million quid. And he gets a Achilles, you know, ACL, uh, or he gets a you know, fracture of the leg and he's out for six months and things. You've suddenly now got a player that you've got to, he's not even played for you. And you're already dealing with the whole issues about how, how injured is he and is he going to come back the same player. I'd, ra I'd rather him just come to us, I'll be honest with you. And f we'll fit him in somewhere and he can learn a year under Pep system. And he can learn under the likes of Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva and Sergio Aguero and all those other attacking players and things, rather than sending him back on loan when, you know, if we're going to pay £106 million for him, let's be honest, why wouldn't you buy him? Why send him back on loan? You don't see, you know, um, Liverpool selling Coutinho to Barcelona and going, oh, let him come back here on loan. You don't see... Um, uh, Dembele going to Barcelona and then going, oh yeah, but he'll come back here on loan for a year. And if, if you're paying that much money, it's not like a thirty million pound player that you might turn around and uh, sort of go, you know, he's only a, a baby and he's only worth this. That's a massive, massive outlay, huge outlay. Get him here, get him here for a year, and if he only plays. 30 games, then he only plays 30 games, but get him used to the Pep system. What's the point in bringing him next season? And let's face it, who knows what, whether Pep will be here next season? So, and I hope he is, and I think he will be, but who's to say when he comes back next season, we've got, not got a new manager? Get him here if we're spending that type of money and get him embedded into the Pep system because he's so young. Just look at, you know, what he's done with Sterling, what he's done with Bernardo Silva, what he's done with Gabby Jesus and everything else. Get him in now. Tell, you know, tell Benfica, piss off. Here's the money. We'll buy him. 
That's it, end of story. And we'll give him, we'll match what United pay for him and we'll do whatever. If he's going to be worth investing that much money into him, get him in this academy, get him in training around day in, day out with the best players in world football. So I think it's bullshit. I honestly, now City might honestly do that. They might turn around and say, is that good? We just want to invest in this player and hopefully he'll progress at the level that we think for that massive investment. But uh, maybe just to secure him, solely just to make sure that we get him. But I don't, I, I, I don't get it. I, I really don't. I don't get it at all. I really don't. I think it's nonsense. Um, but City might do that just to secure the kid. But I'd personally rather just go out and say, we'll, we'll match whatever United match. Because let's face it, we've seen United have come in, bought players, gave them the, uh, three times the wages, and they've turned out to be shit. Absolutely garbage. So they've, likes of Sanchez, and are regretting the move to United. So if United are in for it, City should just turn around and say, Look at their record over the last 10 years compared to ours. It's that simple. And we'll match whatever they want to do, if he's that good. So that's my thoughts on Andy's gone raw already. I haven't. Hey, listen, <laughs> I don't think that's raw compared to what might come up in the future. Uh, but uh, that's my fan. Douglas Louise player tournament on this way. I know that was amazing. So that just goes to show you what a brilliant player Kiami is. Um, Wonderful player, uh, really is, but just need to sort out this whole, you know, passport and work, um, work permit thing. And I think Pep is very impressed with him, and the fact that he's done that is great. Uh, I still think he's worth it, Steve. Paul Dempster says, I agree with you, mate. Uh, unless it go on installments, they could do. Uh, linked with the up 50 million. Mm. And these signings joined by and De Bruyne's talks with PSG. Yeah, oh, I heard those rumours this morning, Joseph. Terrible times for City fans. Um, is there a time for the no no idea you what you'll have to do listen right I've got to go guys because I've got to um, I've got to do this uh, next project so anyway we will announce all of this uh, and it'll be announced so that everyone on here knows exactly what's going on all right um, I, don't, I can't promise it'll be tonight or tomorrow or Tuesday or what it will be in the next few days and it will be You'll all know about it, and I'll I'll come live to say here's the links and here's this and here's everything else. So, um, Kenneth Taylor, goodbye, goodbye to you. Um, everything will be announced, but I promise you, like I said to you, this is going to be raw. This isn't going to be sort of manufactured, sort of like chit chat between. These are going to be hardcore blues, uh, and if you want to, uh, you want to listen to what they've got to say disagree with them you can make comments that's why i want to put it on the youtube channel uh raw <laughs> yeah it is wrestling uh, and it could be wrestling who knows i'm sure the guests will be wrestling with each other in the, in the studio but uh it's um uh, it's going to be one of those things whereby uh andy i'm getting an effing ready for the <laughs> well listen you listen to it like i've said to you it is going to be ver oh verbal wrestling it's going to be uh i've already listened to some uh, teaser stuff and <laughs> yeah uh, I'm no prude trust me uh, but and I can swear with the best of them but uh, yeah it's, it's good it's good good chatter it's banter you know between blues like you like I said like you would do if you were down the pub with your mates and they're all City fans and arguing about who's your favourite player and it's, you know you, you, that, that type of language is going to be used on on the uh, on the podcast so um if people don't like it tough not bothered like i said i don't have to run this by anybody uh, i'm quite happy with it i've listened to uh, i've listened to some of the uh, teaser uh, pods uh, that's been done uh, and i'm quite happy with it uh, there'll be nothing that will be uh, offensive to race creed color you know uh opposition fans per se and things it's just gonna basically be um a good old chat between proper proper old school blues uh and uh, i'm really hoping you enjoy it because like i say you can pop your headphones in if you want to go for a run you want to go out on the train on the bus or you're driving or you can do whatever you want to do listen to it uh you don't have to have it on youtube and and taking up your Wi-Fi per se and things like that. You can download it. You'll be able to do anything you want and, and listen to it whenever you feel like listening to it. But anyway, Sandy from Man City Fan TV. Um, rated R for language. Oh, well, listen. 
if it, I tell you what, if 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 swear words and things offend you, don't ever go to the Etihad. Um, don't ever ever go to the Etihad. Don't go to a concourse bar area. Don't go in the toilets. Don't do anything because you'll be offended. Um, because that is what football fans do. So, uh, like I said, it's it's not something I will do on here. Uh, because I don't know who is tuning in on live vlogs and things like that and i've got to be careful with obviously certain age but there will be warnings to say that um this is raw it is actual real uh um, when i said coaching me mr red sounds amazing it's what we need real opinion nothing watered down yeah and that's that's the plan hi andy hi terry i'm going now good luck with podcast later mate like i said tune in uh, you'll be notified if you uh, over 18 adult content warning it will have that um you, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Aviation Blue. Uh, I will post a lot of information on on the Twitter account, uh, but you'll also find out when it comes live here. And if you're a subscriber, and click the bell icon below, you'll be notified when something gets put on there, whether that be a video I'm doing or guests that are coming on or whether it's going to be a new podcast that's gone live uh, you'll be able to listen to it in your own time give us feedback you know and if if you think that you're up for it and you're you know you want to come on um you know the guys are really nice and things like that come on and chat about city you know chat about anything you want to do so anyway guys it's sandy from man city fan tv i've got to go uh i'm already run over so uh thank you everyone for coming on today if you want to give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up don't forget you can follow me on at aviation blue and there'll be more accounts that you'll be able to follow and things like that in in due course when everything else comes out plus we've also got other projects that we're working on which i'm hoping might be i might be able to give you some updates maybe later on in the week and things like that but anyway uh we're moving forward we're we're sort of getting rid of all the twitter rt and crap bullshit that people talk about on twitter which is embarrassing and frankly if i was an adult and i read some of the stuff that's on twitter it's embarrassing that's all i'm going to say on it it's frightening how people who are supposedly adults post some of the crap that they post so um uh, i'm in germany i'm going to germany tomorrow but i'll be there posting other videos for you guys uh anyway but anyway take care have a wonderful father's day for those who are fathers and if you're not your fathers and if there's not around have a think like mine have a think about their memory and the good times and everything else that you had with them have a wonderful sunday uh and i will see you i don't know Maybe sometime later tomorrow night. I might do a quick vlog if I'm in Frankfurt Airport and things like that. But I'll be back tomorrow at some point. But keep an ear out and an eye out for what's going on in the channel. Take care and we'll see you soon. I will do. Thank you, Blue Heart.